right, so here today I thought I'd talk about basically a um, sort of a almost confirmed <laughs> kind of banner schedule about what's going on here. Basically, we know what's coming to the game in a good amount of time. Basically, between now and almost June, we know what's releasing. We, we do to a degree uh, know what's releasing. So today I thought I'd go through it, talk about it here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, helps out a ton. Let's hop into it. Let's talk about the upcoming banners. Again, 100%. You know, most of this is sort of solidified, so let's hop into it. So first things first, let's start off with April. Where we stand in April right now is we are expecting to see a banner tomorrow on a JP released on the patch notes here, uh, update over here, so 10 to 11th. We are expecting it again in April. We then expect a character two weeks later on the 24th, uh, around 25th, right? Uh, those are going to be for JP. That's how it's going to go. So two updates over here, one here, one here. This update seems to be, with all the information pointing towards it being the one, the only, yes, catastrophe update, as leaks kind of suggest, it looks like we are getting a Kata update, as Alexa said, almost 100% on that, so remember, Kata coming soon, um, don't know yet who it is, but we do speculate, uh, given the animations, it's between Citri, uh, or the other character, which I'm not going to try to pronounce, the red one, uh, both these characters make a lot of, uh, sense in releasing, um, and again, they do exist in the files, so there's a lot of chance that these characters will pop up, and you'll get yourself a Kata update, so not bad, not bad for what it is, uh, that will eat up this update over here now after that it's been a tradition for this month being april to always receive a collaboration last year in this same month it was the brand spanking new collaboration uh, again with shoko tensei uh, or java reincarnation back then before that it was actually i think slime or re-zero it's one of the two uh, in april was slime correct i think before that was re-zero right april 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 oh no it was stranger things Ugh. yeah because it was different for us. We got it in, uh, I think, global separately, right? I think that's what it went down. I have no idea. But uh, we got uh, Stranger Things first, and then ReZero popped up here. So that's how it went for us. But with that being said, uh, it basically gives us the idea that every April there is a collaboration. Would they change that this year? Uh, they did already change something, correct? Clearly, January was a uh, collaboration which never has happened before. Uh, it is the first time in pff, forever correct? So that's what they cooked up there, but maybe there is a chance here uh, that, you know, they keep it going and keep the tradition alive, and there you go. Uh, for that month, or for that basically day, it's between a collaboration update that potentially being uh, Shield Hero. If it is Shield Hero, boom, pay, bing, pow, what do you want to say? Boom, bam, pow, whatever. Um, it works, correct? Rerun, people wanted it, people have begging, uh, been begging for it, correct? Players that missed out on Kazuna have been dying for it, players that have missed out on Philo have been dying for it. Uh, I know players that still want now for me, for what it is. Um, definitely there's a big chance of this happening, correct? Beyond this, though, if it's not this, it's Ryan Rock. Correct? Realize that now, that there is still a chance for Ryan Rock to pop up. That's not like a thing that's gone forever. I uh, remember that Alexis did have the newest chapter of Ryan Rock. Like, he has all the details for it, and we didn't get a Ryan Rock chapter. So it's not far fetched to say that this is the Ryan Rock update, and, you know, this gets scrapped. Correct? Or pushed back, if you were to say. And uh, that's how they do things there. But again, let's see what exactly happens here. Uh, if it is this collaboration, again, if they were to do it, I don't know who the characters are going to be. Uh, we don't know if this is 100% either. We don't know what's going to happen on this front. Uh, this could be like very early assets or uh, who knows? Who knows, correct? But if that is the case, it would make a lot of sense to pop up again in April. That makes the most sense. But if not, it could be Ryan Rock. Right now, if that is Ryan Rock, then in June, it's a collaboration. Correct? Because now Rain Rock can't happen. Everything else can't happen. In June, we're getting a collaboration. So that makes sense now, right? So it's going to be a swap or of some sort where this is collaboration. This is, you know, uh, Rain Rock. Or this is Rain Rock. This is collaboration. So remember, that can always swap uh, between the, uh, the two, basically, right? And uh, after May in June, which we'll talk about in a second, correct? I have the June calendar here. Uh, the final update for that could be the collaboration instead. If they want to swap things up, but... It's, it's, it's kind of a staple for Grand Cross to do a collaboration in April, so I doubt they'll change it this year. But again, this potentially is the thing. We don't know for certain, correct? After the collaboration or Ragnarok update, depends on what that is, we will then run into the beautiful update, which is going to be for uh, May. Correct? In May, we do expect to first see uh, an anniversary at the end of it, and then in the middle, we do expect to see some sort of character. Last year was Camilla, correct? This year, we didn't get a uh, spring character yet, correct we didn't get a spring character yet and last year we didn't get a wedding character right i don't think they considered anybody a wedding character because it was summer freya tristan wasn't the wedding character obviously and camilla wasn't the wedding character obviously correct goddess liz wasn't so again i do not remember was there a... no there wasn't right so this year we might get a wedding character uh, that's why i kind of opened up wedding burn hill here 
We could also get a spring character, like a late spring character. Uh, that could also kind of happen. Um, or it could be like a new Ragnarok character, right? Maybe the Ragnarok update lands there and Forkoa is in June with like a new story uh, or a new character for Forkoa, right? That could be the case, yeah? Uh, so remember, like the entire upcoming thing is going to be a little bit more sketchy, but we do have to get a wedding character if they want to. And if not, it's a spring character. If not, it's a new, na a new named character. We don't know about Correct? New name character uh, definitely has potential to pop up. It could be Ryan Rock instead. Remember, if they're launching clearly a cat update this week, and if we find out it's a new name character and a story, that's the first time they've ever done that in one and a half years. So there is a lot of potential, right? But uh, but again, who knows? Correct? Who knows at that front? But uh, at that point, it's just a standard character. I don't think we care about. But after that, we care about that. That is going to be 1 billion percent an anniversary. Not only an anniversary, it is the biggest probably anniversary of the year that's not new year's correct this is the anniversary they take seriously they give the best freebies uh, always a good free banner always even a step of banner going into it right for example mave jenna was last year questionably guessing we're not going to get that this year but there is potential for some good character i'm hoping it's wild i will pay money <laughs> to see my boy wild finally release but uh definitely we could see something there uh, but when it comes to the anniversary we shall check out what they cook up there is a chance that players are speculating that four koa is what they plan on releasing um as there have been assets added back like in the last updates uh potentially pointing towards four core being the thing we again don't know we again don't know but uh, if it is, if it is a festival and it's centered around Forkoa, I'm telling you, the game is going to get a massive revive. Players have been dying, waiting for this. And I definitely think that this is like the perfect time to revive the game and get everyone uh, back into GC ASAP. And um, I think that this is the update that can do it. I genuinely think this is the update that can do it. And if it is the May festival, boom. Uh, the biggest, like, L, let's, let's, let's use the letter L here, the, the phrase biggest L. And, you know, we're going to say this as the 100% case. The biggest L they could possibly do, they could possibly do, is release a Ragnarok update on the May Festival. That will be an instant killer. I get it. You like Ragnarok. I get it. You like OC. That's fine. It's just sentiment, right? Because you're ending the 70th story, right? We, we speculate that from dev notes you've been hammering at us saying, yeah, we're ending it in the, within the six months, right, of the year. That means May is the last chance to do that. So I'm hoping <laughs> they put their heads together here and they'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's time to... Uh, allow this to close and we'll push Ragnarok whenever we have to uh, because remember physically and easily they can push Ragnarok uh, and pop it up here in the July uh, festival which is good correct no one's gonna complain about that uh, and if they want to make June a festival right again you complain about this festival there was no issue with it they gave you like 500 gems to like shut you up basically right and it worked uh, most players are stopped uh, have stopped complaining since the uh, the freebies because it's like if you don't like the character, just don't summon. And you save, you you literally gain 300, 400 uh, gems just like that. You only lose the 120 summons, but who cares? You know what I mean? Um, but it's up to you, right? Uh, anything is possible. But if, if they want to do a festival, I don't really care anymore. Let them do a festival. I don't think free to plays get shafted because it's like you got 500 gems. If you don't want the festival character, just wait for a rerun, <laughs> right? And um, wait for them to be on the November festival uh, or just go for it. You you have the gems basically given to you. Most players, free to play players, right? They summoned for tier last year. I know they did. Uh, they summoned last year also for Awakening Roxy. Some of them did. And um, you were fine if you, if you did. You, you got the gems back, right? But this time it's like they paid for half the banner. It, it was less than a, a 600 banner, correct? So they can do whatever they want on that, on that front. But uh, that's basically up and coming until uh, June-ish, right? That's what you're getting. Uh, at the end of May, it's a festival. After that, they might start summer banners, correct? July does that, but uh, they could do that in June this year or, again, a new name character for Forkoa. Last year was Tristan. Then after that was Ragnarok. Again, if there is a Ragnarok update this April, collab is here. If there's a collab update this April, Ragnarok's here. That's like the, the confirmation of the central I'll give you, uh, but we shall see, right? Uh, they could make it a festival and then pop it up in May. They could, uh, and they also could pop it up in July. So that's basically what to expect from the upcoming banner schedule. Again, basically solidified possibly this. Like, this is solidified to be coming in either uh, April or uh, June. Um, this is coming probably. Summer has to happen, whether it be July or June, right? <laughs> and this is coming, right? Or uh, the anniversary is coming, and we speculate to be this. So, potential is there. Let me know what you think. Our players are also thinking Chaos Merlin, but imagine. <laughs> Chaos Merlin, dude. Uh, we shall see. So, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And yeah, that's it.